guys, I literally walked up the stairs here and I arrived to this huge boulevard with this civil building right there. Oh my god, this is a beautiful view. Along the road here, there's a lot of little shops where you can buy nice, oh, nice things like toys for your kids, but also I see oranges and water and whatnot. So that is really nice. There's a hot and happening here. Everyone is here. Everyone is enjoying. Wow. It's so nice. The sky is filled. People are dancing, singing there. Sounds like Indian music, actually. Wow, and in this park, there's so many children. I can't believe it. So many children running around everywhere. There's a lot of people here. Oh my god, everyone is enjoying. It's a Saturday, that's why. I keep thinking it's like a Thursday or something, but it's not. Wow, look at all these people here dancing. so happy you know they were really having fun dancing like that with all of them now they changed the music and I feel like other people go on the stage now so wow guys look at this field so many children wow everyone is enjoying their life here it's very free I would say I feel very free very open the people are very nice they can literally do anything they want this is literally like Europe but then with cameras everywhere, right? Literally. I don't understand why people are so negative about China, like in Europe in general, right? Like it's a strict country, communism is okay, but I actually think this is amazing, guys. Look at this. All the people, buildings in the background. It's so easy with Alipay, you literally pay everywhere. It's so convenient to live here. And it's a great temperature. It's a bit hot, but... Oh. Look at her, how cute she Guys, amazing. It's so nice to look at this, but I don't know if this is traditional. Is this traditional Chinese? It sounds like more like Arabic sounds. I don't know. Crazy, right? I love it. It's only older people, but wow. They're smiling so much. So amazing. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, I feel like this park is gonna be full of surprises. So let's continue walking. Look at all these roots of this tree. It's crazy. They're like literally all above ground. All right, let's just walk to the top if we can get to the top. Because there you have supposedly beautiful views over the city, which I think you already have right there on the boulevard. There are a lot of people in orange t-shirts people are picnicking they all have tents you know to protect themselves from the sun <laughs> they also had that in where was it korea they also did that yeah picnicking in tents <laughs> well there's another huge field here full of children guys this bird is driving me crazy it reminds me of um thailand actually oh now he stopped but i always hear him and I never see him. Like, where is that bird? Oh, now he stopped. Whatever. We'll probably hear him another time. Anyways. Oh, this is so nice, guys. I would really want to have friends now and sit down on a plate and just enjoy life, get some snacks, and then just, you know, <laughs> enjoy the day. But in short pants, four for four, because it's too hot like this. Oh my God, I'm not even sure. I think the top, that seems to be the top of the mountain, right? I think like this is literally every kid's dream, you know, to have like a cute kite to go kite flying with your parents on a field like this. And I never had that, I never did it. And all these children, all these kids, literally all of them have it and they can do it. And they're flying their kites. Wow, they have the most beautiful ones though. Some even have like a guy that looks like a bird. So it looks like a bird is flying there, but it's not, yeah. 
or a beautiful big butterfly. But, but, but. Oh, there's public toilets. Okay, let's go this little street here. Because then I hope that. I don't know what he's saying. But then maybe we hike all the way to the top and we see the views. That could be awesome. It better is worth it. Because I am literally dying with my lung pants in 31 degrees. And it's very humid. It is like, it feels like I'm hiking in Panama, you know? Like it was exactly the same. The humidity and the jungle vibes here. The sounds, crazy. But the difference is then I had shorts and now I'm wearing long pants. But I'm not complaining because I think, really think that I'm gonna arrive to the top soon. Let's hope. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm literally starting to sweat. And I'm not really sweating. I'm not a person that sweats, right? Only in my sleep, maybe, but not even with during a workout. You know, more and more people are dripping off. More and more people there are like, no, I ain't gonna do it. And I, I'm agreeing with them. This is crazy. I see a wall. I see a white wall right there. We're almost there. We're getting there. I think this is gonna be the top. Yeah, people are coming down smiling. So that means that they probably had a rest. They recharged and they're on their way back down. So that's good. Yes, it's here. I'm arriving. Here I am on top of the hill. There's a statue that I can't read. But there is police standing on blocks so they can oversee the crowd. Right? Oh, guys, wow. Wow, this is beautiful. Okay, this was worth it. Yes, worth it. Binga, look at it. Wow, amazing. This is beautiful. Wow. Oh wait, before we continue, I'd like to tell you about the special document I made with 50 travel tips for your next trip. And you can read them completely for free. I'll give you many tips about how to book the cheapest flights, like this one to Bali. And I'm giving you advice about the best travel insurance, cheapest eSIM cards for internet abroad, and so much more. Here, you already got four tips if you pause the video. I travel to many countries, and in this document, you get my 50 best tips about traveling the world. The list is full of inspiring travel quotes, plus many links to useful websites and incredible travel deals. With this list, you will be 100% prepared for your next trip. My tips will save you a bunch of money and will make you overall travel better so head to the link in the description and download the list for free trust me you will love it oh my gooshness I'm so tired oh my legs everything is tired all these kids Wow, there's so many people, but I don't see any tourists. Well, it's okay. You know what's good? Last December, China opened its borders for foreign visitors. They can get 15 days of uh, visa on arrival, right? So that's what I got too. I am allowed to stay 15 days without having to pay for it. That's really good because before it was 126 euros to stay. So that's like incredibly much. Like that's the highest visa fee that I ever heard. I think they're doing a really big step in the right direction to give people at least 15 days to visit the country. And that's why probably everyone is also looking at me because they're not used to tourists that much, right? They're not used to hearing English because it was so locked. Their country was so locked. And now it's opening up again. So probably these kids will grow up seeing way more tourists oh i forgot to tell you that my list also has a bonus you will get access to all my google maps pins as well i'll take you to the best places in many countries all you gotta do is click on that link so what are you waiting for download the list now and let's get back to the video all right the lianhua shan park definitely worth it worth it the hike up but actually almost always if you hike up all the way and it's so terrible then the views are worth it same in taiwan the views were stunning. However, there's a lot of kids now, but that's probably because it's weekend. 
and they're all looking at me like oh my god what is that you know <laughs> so i'm just smiling at them trying to like give them some sort of memory right i don't know maybe maybe i haven't seen a blonde person in their life their complete life not even on television i don't know i'm so tired and it is it is just so hot you know it is too freaking hot 31 degrees but to be honest, I expected China to be more strict. I expected China to, I don't know, be less open and people really enjoy their lives here. It really looks like that. Every, everyone's having a great time. It's clean. It's very clean. It's not that expensive. It's actually cheap, kind of like regular prices, similar to Korea and Japan. Um, obviously more expensive than Southeast Asia, but yeah, I mean like nothing gets cheaper than Vietnam. <laughs> But uh, definitely my recommendation if you are in Hong Kong to do at least a day trip, you know, to Shenzhen. Well, I wouldn't recommend a day trip because customs and the trip and everything can take a lot of time. So maybe stay over one night, just like, like me, right? What I do. Obviously, there's way more stuff to do here and China is huge. So I don't know, like if you really want to do a China, China trip, right? Yeah, you should consider getting a visa, I would say, because, you know, 15 days is not enough to see this huge country. No, so, it was a great, great place. I'm walking quickly to the other side of the dome there. The dome, it's not really a dome, it's the civic, civic building, civil building. <laughs> I keep forgetting it, something with, from civilians, right? I think, <laughs> or I could be completely wrong. Anyways, I am walking there right now and it's actually huge. If you're underneath it, I think it's gonna be crazy huge. But this is a really fun little market here. And actually the children here, they all know how to pose. Oh my God, all their parents are like teaching them how to pose, you know, for pictures, even with the, with the heart or whatever. Yeah, so funny. Oh, the sun is behind the clouds now, so it's kind of cool, better. And there's some wind here also, so I can have a little bit of a breeze, cool off a little bit. Wow, this is incredible, guys. I think Shazen is exactly not what I expected because I expected something more like Shanghai you know the things that they show us what's China like in the pictures and the videos but it is not like that at all it is literally the same as Korea or Japan I would say like it is not that busy there are not hundreds of millions of people actually Hong Kong was crazy there were a lot of people but Shenzhen is actually pretty quiet well there are a lot of people but there's also a lot of space right so as you can see here oh I love those palm trees they're so nice surrounded by the buildings and we're walking towards the iconic three colored building here actually four color because blue on top yeah let's see if we're down there what's like what what there is you know oh guys this breeze is just delicious i hope you can hear me and that the wind is not you know overruling here but i think you can hear me just fine this is just amazing this breeze i just want to take off my shoes i don't see a lot of people with shorts though so it's actually a good choice that i wear my long pants instead of short ones. <laughs> oh, I do see two guys there with shorts. Well, not many, not many people. There are two people, there are two guys. But we're arriving, we're almost underneath it. Oh my goodness, it is a huge. Imagine that collapsing. <gasps> I don't want that to collapse. Are you crazy? I'm almost here, guys, almost underneath this giant building. Actually, this signature of Shenzhen, if you ask me. Right? This is the most iconic building of Shenzhen. Yes. And I'm right here. And I'm gonna touch it. Because remember, if you haven't touched it, you weren't there. Right? So you gotta touch it. If you were in Paris, you gotta touch the Eiffel Tower. That's how it works. All right, let's go. And we are one, two, three. Yes, we're underneath the building. Nice. Okay, let's see. Oh, people dancing, people practicing the dance. 
maybe recording TikToks or something. Ooh. Ooh. Policia también. Everyone is practicing here to dance. Wow, there they have some beautiful clothing also. Okay, let me touch it first because then we're getting over that, right? All right, boom, touched it. But now, here are some performances. A lot of people are actually watching. Oh my God, this dog is so cute. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, hello. 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 <laughs> I think she loves me. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, what a cutie. Oh, no. Oh, you're so happy. You're so happy. <laughs> I think it's some sort of play. I'm not sure. Everyone's watching, but like they're they're running. But there's even a guy with shorts. He's the only one that's not dressed up. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. Let's see. What is this about? Oh, there are more TikTokers over there. <laughs> that is actually pretty nice. I don't think these girls are with a group or like with a with a class, right? With a school class. I think they're literally just friends, and they wanna practice how to dance or I don't know maybe it's k-pop but you have different groups here and also on the other side closer to the mountain yes different groups of girls and other performances also groups of guys how nice everyone is having a good time here on a Saturday and here we have the park the other side of the building look we're I'm no longer underneath it so I don't have to be scared that uh, I don't know like it's falling down but here you have actually the view on the downtown a little bit and on the building where we literally came out of the metro for the very first time here in Shenzhen and I saw that huge building that's right there. And that building is actually also pretty beautiful with all the blocks, great arch architecture. I hate that word, architecture. I'm always like, how do you pronounce it? Yeah. Anyways, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love Shenzhen. And this was only my first day in this amazing city. In the next video, we will explore more of Shenzhen and I will be so surprised about one thing I'll discover. You'll see it in another video, which I put here on screen for you to watch next. So click on it and I'll see you there. Bye!